Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, and that is the Kill Sustain Poke Triangle. If you're new to this channel and you want to subscribe, now's a really good time to do so. We upload videos like this every Saturday along with a different league related video in the middle of the week. So yeah guys, Kill Sustain Poke can be easiest explained when looking at supports. A very ungrateful position, I know, I main Janna, and when we win the game and people look at the damage graph, they say I was useless, but when we lose the game, I didn't do enough too, and it is somehow always my fault. Even in games where I didn't die once. But this just goes to show you how diverse supports can be. Brand can be lowering people's health bars in team fights all the time, and ending the game with a 0-3-18 score, but then people are surprised when he dealt the most damage. Obviously, Janna will never be able to do that, but that doesn't mean she's bad. She has a different role. There's three categories into which nearly all supports fall, Janna actually being kind of an exception here. You have some melee supports like Leona, Braum or Alistar, whose job it is to all in the enemies when they go in. These are kill supports. Some supports have a whole bunch of damage to deal from afar, like Brand, Zyra or Morgana. These are poke supports. And finally, some supports can poke and at the same time heal, like Soraka or Sona. These are called sustained supports. The basis of this triangle is that these supports all have lanes where they have an advantage and lanes where they can be totally annihilated. And it goes like this. Kill beats sustain, sustain beats poke, and poke beats kill. Now obviously, just because you picked a poke support, it doesn't mean you automatically win versus a kill lane, but you still need to play your cards right. So why does this triangle work like this? Well, Sustain doesn't have enough damage to kill the kill lane. A Caitlyn Sona can't all in a Braum Draven. And Draven can kill Sona and Kate fast enough so that Sona can't heal quickly enough. However, Sustain lanes can out heal a poke lane when played correctly. Kate and Sona can make a Vayne and Zyra cry because Sona will be able to heal the damage that Zyra dealt. They don't really have that many chances of all inning because they won't kill fast enough like the kill lane. And finally, Zyra Vane can beat that Draven Braum kill lane if they know how to poke them down enough and disengage with the root and condemn when they try to wall in. If Braum and Draven are low enough, they will lose the all in advantage, so in most cases, you can freeze or push them back to their tower. Now, to the end of this video, and before we go into the objectives, I'll list a few supports and what category they fall into. But if you're enjoying the video so far, remember to leave that like. Good examples of sustained supports are Soraka, Nami, Tarek, and Janna. Kill supports are Leona, Brom, Thresh, Blitz, Trundle, and Nautilus. And poke supports are Karma, Zyra, Brand, Lulu, Fiddlesticks, and Zillion. Some supports in the list can perform multiple roles though. Sona can also poke hard. Tarek can also kill if he hits a good stun. Janna, I said, was a big exception. And although I put her in the sustain lists, she is a disengaged support. She doesn't heal apart from her ultimate, but her job is to prevent your whole team from making mistakes and also to give them some steroids. Now finally, let's move on to the objectives. 1 to 10. Is this for mid? 20. Pick poke versus sustain. 30. All in with Sona pre-6. 40. Engage with Janna. 50. Know the lanes by heart. 60. Engage with Leona. 70. All in with Braum. 80. Pick Soraka versus Zyra. 90. Try to counter the lanes and 100. Counter the lanes all the time. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any doubts about champions that you play, you're not sure what category they fall into and you would like to know more about them, then please leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. Sakeos out.